today to talk about some exercises that you can do at home that will directly translate into a stronger core in the studio. So my favorite way to build the core is with using Pilates exercises. And so my, the one that I like to do first in every workout is the 100. So we are just going to lay on our back. The head and shoulders can stay on the floor for an easier modification or they can lift up off of the floor, but we're going to flutter the arms a hundred times. If you want to make it harder yet, you can drop those legs. What's important is you're trying to push the low back into the floor while you do this, engaging the core. And we use a short, quick breath called staccato, sometimes called fire breath in yoga. So it sounds like 100 times, okay? <clears throat> the next one that we are going to do um, we'll drop the legs down, hands come overhead. You can keep the feet about hip width apart. And we are going to bring the hands up and try to lift the spine up. And you can roll forward into a bit of a hamstring stretch there. Um, and when we roll down, same as rolling up, we're just trying to drop one vertebrae at a time back down to the floor. If you want an easier modification for this one, you can bring the feet in, and we still do the same thing. And roll the spine back down, slow and controlled. So the next exercise that I like to do are leg circles. For those, the arms will come out to the side. Feet are going to go in the air, and so we're just gonna circle the legs. I like to try to do about six to eight of these each direction. Trying to keep the hips square to the grip, to the ceiling and glued to the floor. Um, so again, about six to eight of those each direction. And the next one that I like to do is scissor legs. And so we're going to take the legs out. The easiest modification is to keep the head and shoulders on the floor. If you want to bring them up off of the floor, we would be here, pushing the low back in and switch and switch and switch and switch so you get the idea and the last one which is kind of specific to aerial fitness um, because we do a lot of straddle ups with the legs coming up over the head is going to be straddle ups so what we're going to do we're going to lay down on our back we're going to straddle the legs open and try to come into a bit of a reverse crunch here and do a slow control lower down. So what you can do with this one is try to make sure you're keeping the feet up high as you start this exercise. If you start to feel like you're getting stronger, but you can start to um, straddle down, bring the legs lower down to the floor. Straddle up, lower down. I just want you to be careful with that because it is a double leg drop, which can be kind of hard on the low back if your core isn't quite ready for it. So um, if you have any questions about some ex those types of things that you can do at home to get stronger for the studio or anything else that you can think of at all, just give me a shout. We're here for you. Bye.